It is often said that one hand washes the other, and I found this to be true the other day when I posted an ad on Facebook for sewing lessons, and uh, a member of a group I am a part of on Facebook read it and decided to donate a sewing machine and this box of materials that you see here. And the trade-off was that she asked that my students would uh, alter the hospital gowns that her husband wears while he is uh, battling the final stages of cancer. The touching part about this story is that this woman has so much going on in her life that I learned after I started talking to her that she still found it in her heart to be giving, to want to help, to donate. Um, you know, sometimes we get so distracted in life that it's not that we don't want to give, we just don't think about it because we have so much going on. So I was really moved by this story um, that, uh, yes, of course, we will be altering these um, hospital gowns and so forth. But um, I just, you know, when you are a genuinely kind-hearted person, it comes out no matter what situation that you are going through. And this proved to be true the other day. So let's take a look at what's in this box. I haven't opened it. I just literally took it from her trunk and put it in my trunk. I know that the sewing machine is behind. And um, I did take a look at the hospital gowns. But I haven't had a chance to open this box to take a look of what's inside of it. So let's take a look. Alright, so she didn't close it with tape or anything like that. It was just easier just to, uh, uh, just, you know, bind the flaps closed by folding it. And, um, let's see, wow. So there's some quilted fabric here. And it has some kind of twall print. And there's um, patterns in here as well. And it looks like a panel. Yep, there's a panel in here as well, like a Christmas panel. That would make very nice for a nice Christmas gift. And then, oh, look at this. Now, these are things that my little young students can use. And it's a little rotary cutting mat. So like when you go to meets and stuff. Or if someone is sitting here and they're cutting little squares. So that would be nice. And then there's a lot of new fabric in here too. A lot of vintage stuff. But a lot of new fabric. Like wow look at this eyelet, eyelet fabric. And this uh, vintage lace. Very nice. So it's just, it's quite a few, it's quite a, it's a lot of stuff in here. I must tell you that she was very generous. This, and this is a, a couple of yards easy. Very generous in what she was given. And we have thread here, we have ribbon. Just a lot of stuff here. more panels. These are going to be absolutely great for uh, my sewing classes and and so forth. This is an absolutely awesome fabric. I love this. Look at that. Isn't that cute? It's cute. I love that. Some kind of uh, 3D crochet. That's actually nice. I don't know what that was called. Um, I don't know if that's I know it's not cross stitching, but some kind of um. So I'm not sure if she was like in the middle of projects, or I think she did say something about some of this had belonged to her mom. So, and now she's passing it on. I mean, I absolutely. You know, I love red and white polka dot fabric anyway. So to have, you know, the um, the softed version of the red and white polka dot fabric. It's nice, but there is so much stuff in here. Ribbons and stuff. I mean, I can't even. And these are times when my uh, students are asking for supplies um, because they may be, you know, mom and dad may be facing some uh, financial challenges. This is when this stuff come in handy. I mean, brand new needles, you know. Um, this is when this stuff comes in handy. I am just thrilled to pieces. Look at this. It's just so much stuff. 
so much stuff in here that I might not even get a chance to pull it all out in front of you all. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Some kind of a drawer thingy. I got to figure out how to open it. And it's filled with threads and stuff. But it's just so much stuff in here that I won't get a chance to pull it all out. But I just really wanted to show you how generous um, she was. There is so many supplies in here, I can't even uh, take them all out. Um, I'm just so grateful um, that she was able to donate um, this stuff to my kids. Um, I, I actually do family classes now, and um, these stuff, these materials will definitely come in handy. I want to um, pull open the, uh, the sewing machine to take a look at it. And, um, and then I will move on to doing the tutorial on how we are going to be altering her husband's, um, her husband's hospital gowns. So these are the gowns here. Um, and there's uh, quite a few of them in here. Um, but anything at this point to help her help make him comfortable. I mean it's worth it and so this is in a case and it just snaps on the side and let's see it's a nice heavy-duty sewing machine I can tell you that much nice but um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out the case and um, I'm going to take a look at it and uh, we're going to sew on it. Okay, so I took it out the case and I am just going to uh, give it, um, you know, just a good wipe down um, and then I'm going to test it out. Uh, so um, we could sew on it and I am um, very excited because so many times I get students that uh, want to um, get a sewing machine of their own and um, you know some of them for the most part are quite affordable but I always tell my parents to stay away from the toys so when people donate good sewing machines such as things like this this is a nice heavy duty one Singer is a good brand um, you know I could actually uh, give it away to a student who you know made the honor roll or something like that a nice incentive so um, you know, once again, you know, one hand washes the other. She donated the sewing machine um, and a box of supplies and fabrics. And in return, we are going to alter her husband's um, hospital gowns. Well, that's all for today. I just wanted to show you guys what, you know, the kindness of uh, someone's heart did in a donation that we got again and I, I am very grateful to the community for uh, supporting my services um, it took it took a while I, I get questions now from other people thinking about um, starting sewing schools from their home like I did and I'm gonna tell you that it's not an overnight process but just keep faith and try to stay focused there's so many times that I tried to start this and for whatever reason or whoever reason People come into your life, things happen, uh, people get sick, uh, you know, my father died. There were so many things that had put a hold on this, what I'm doing now. And I'm just uh, kind of glad that I've been able to always kind of get myself back on track and be able to continue this and the community have just always been supportive. So thank you for all watching today. That's all I have to say uh, in regards to this. I'm just going to continue to uh, just kind of oil this and, and just get it up and running for a student, you know, to uh, possibly 
take this home for getting good grades or maybe I'll uh, keep it in my studio as a backup to um, give someone free lessons on it. That sounds actually like a better idea. Um, especially at the fact that she donated it to my studio. I can donate services to someone else. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.